Long, long ago, on the edge of a forest, there lived a poor broom maker. He gathered in the fields the heather to make his brooms. He built his hut with logs from the forest, and he roofed it with heather from the fields. many hidden paths and secret nooks and places where the sun reached in. learned in the depths of the forest. And she kept a watchful eye on the broom maker's hut and on Susie the Goose. Hard bread. 
How dry is dry bread? Nothing but hard dry bread to eat for weeks. Oh, Hansel. Well, you know what Father says when, when Mother cries. I know, but words put nothing on the plate. Oh, Gradle, wouldn't it be lovely to have something to eat with a, a taste on it? Uh, pancakes with aches in them. Flowery cakes with, with butter on them. It's been so long since we had a mouthful that I don't know how they taste. Oh, my Gradle, I wish we lived in a big castle and had fine clothes to wear and lots and lots of food to eat. And I could tell you a secret. Picture on the shelf. You think there's nothing in it but but water. That's what's in it. That's where you're wrong. It's milk. Fresh milk. Milk with cream on it. A neighbor brought it to mother when when you were asleep. How thick the cream is. Let's taste it. Oh, Hansel. That is nice. What a bad brother. You go back to your work. You know what will happen if, if you haven't your broom tied and, and I haven't my darning done when, when Mother comes home. Back to work, Jiminy. I want to play. Play? Yes. Dance with me. <gasps> dance. That's what you do. Oh, it's lovely to dance. And I know a tune that will, will keep us in time. Grandmother made it up for me. Hansel, come and dance with me. Both my hands held out, you see. Round about, round about. One time in, one time out. You'd better put your shoes on. Thank you. 
This morning, all gloomy with a load of brooms. Just the same as every other day. Well, I, I might sell a few of them, I thought. And hope. When I got to town, there were a couple of weddings going on. So I swelled out my chest and cried. My broomsticks, my brushes. Sweep out your cobweb, clear off the dust. My broomsticks. Running after me, and I got rid of every broom. And that any price I asked. Pay the toll to the broomstick paper. Where are the children? When it comes to them, look what's on the floor. The pitcher broken, eh? And the milk all spilled. Oh, in mischief again, were they? And one's as bad as the other. When I came from the forest, they were jumping and jigging all over the place. I was so worn out that I... Well, I, I went after them and... And the pitcher got broken and the milk spilled. Oh. <laughs> well, there's nothing to laugh at. Oh, Mother. 
the calmness I could always keep, you lose so easily. Tell me, where are they? For aught I know, they're... They're in Ilsenstein. The Ilsenstein. You couldn't have let them go there. Now, if you'll just be calm, I'll tell you the whole story. A story? Our children astray in the depths of that forest. And you want to tell me a story. But I... Look! Night is coming on. There will be neither moon nor stars. You don't know how frightful it is. The gobbling witch lives there. The gobbling witch? The child-eating witch. Oh, merciful heavens! What on earth are you doing with that broom? The broomstick, the broomstick. Why, what is it for? Why, what is it for? The witch's ride. The witch's ride. The broomstick. Oh, for heaven's sake, put that thing down. Under moon they sail, over hill and dale, over wood and wheeled, over house and field. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. A witch's ride that's sure to be tied on a broomstick, a broomstick high and wide. <gasps> but worse, I will say, is my light of day. Through forest paths she will stalk and tread, and children nice of flesh and entice. She'll entice them, she will lure them with heap and heap of gingerbread. <laughs> With smiling lips and crafty glance and flinching, clutching, sidelong walk, God help the children where she will talk to lure and trap them with a sweet talk. Oh! Oh, and she's got the bread and hot. She puts the children into the door and she holds it shut to crisp and brown. The children are batches of gingerbread. In the oven. In the oven. Red hot oven. The gingerbread children. Oh, merciful heaven. Gingerbread children. And then she feasts. She feasts? The witch feasts on gingerbread. Oh, no, don't say any more. We must find our children. Wait, mother. Don't 
don't you go in there. You'll tear your dress on the briars. But you'll tear your clothes. Well, that doesn't matter. Mine's torn already. You pick some wildflowers and, and I'll get the berries. Won't take me very long. boy's head. Wreath only for girls. Here. Now I'm, I'm queen of the forest. And I want everything that's becoming to my state. Well, I suppose your subjects have to leave gifts before you. Here. <laughs> but you're not to eat them. Something 
in the tree.
father is. That is, not our father in the house. But, but our, our father, father in heaven. heaven. Help, Help our, our father, father in the house, house to, to sell his broom and uh, uh, bring him and home safe, safe to the house. To the house. And be in good temper. Uh, may mother be in good temper, too. And not, not miss us until we get home, home again. again. Our, our father, father in heaven. In heaven. Amen. Amen. Good night, Gradle. Good night, Hans.
still be dreaming. This is not home. Trees. A forest. How do I come to be here? <gasps> we did fall asleep in the forest. Now I know. Hansel. Hansel, wake up. Wake up. I did. Coming down the stairway, 14 angels. And going back, too. We'd better hurry and, and pick some more strawberries and, and go home. Friendly house? Wait a little. 
Don't you see? The angels let us here. <gasps> yeah. It was good of the angels to invite us, and of course they expect us to... Expect us to what? Just take a piece out of the wall. Nibble, do you mean? Just a bite. Nibbling, nabbling, crunching. Who on my house is lunching? Did you hear anything? Just the wind. The wind, the wind, the wind. Nobody else. Keep 
away from her cradle. Keep far. Her house is not bright. Ricky, don't be shy. Dear children, I want you to be fond of me. And leave with me all with my sweet things. Come, little son. Oh, go. Come, get in to my house. Come, you thank me when you step in. Such good you as you see that you should be in. Why are you holding my brother so tight? Why? I'm going to feed him with deliciously tasty tidbits. Until he is delightfully plump. And if you stop pulling away, let go and be quiet and be gentle as a lamb. Then, Hansel, I'll whisper to you a wonderful treat that's in store. You. Speak out what you mean. Don't whisper. What? Well, what wonderful treat is in store for me? Oh, so wonderful will it be. Ha-ha! <laughs> look your eye out. My eyes are still very useful. You better take care and leave me as I am. Hocus pocus, witches spell. Move not if you would stay well. Neither back nor forward go. What I bid you, you will do. All must heed the witches. A 
bit of it on your tongue. I'm not hungry. Eat, darling. No. Swallow it. Or I'll bite off your head. be ready. How the sticks in the fire are cracking. Now, the fire is hot enough. I'll put Gretel in first. I'll bring her to the oven. Then I'll tell her to open the door and look in to see if the gingerbread is baking. And when she gets her head right in the oven door, Do you know what I'm going to do? I'll put her in. Wing! Shut the door. Bang! Then she'll be quick enough. <laughs> in my magic oven, she'll roast them with spices and raisins so goodly. She'll be a turkey like the moon of gingerbread.
and peep in to see if gingerbread's baking. And if it's done, prop the door open. But if it's not brown, shut the door down.
children, who are you? Surely, what? 